How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. So today I'm reviewing a tennis ball, which I don't do very often. I don't plan to do many tennis ball reviews, but I thought that this particular ball deserves some mention, and that ball is the Wilson Trinity Pro. Let's check it out. So I'm sure by now many of you have heard of the Wilson Trinity ball line. It's supposed to be a very eco-friendly ball line. Just to be clear, this is not the original Wilson Trinity. The Wilson Trinity original packaging looks like this. This one is the Wilson Trinity Pro, which released recently. So full disclosure, I've never played with the original Wilson Trinity. This is my first time trying out the Wilson Trinity Pro, so I don't know what the differences are, but let's just go over some of the key features of this tennis ball. Number one, it comes in this fully recyclable ball can. So this is one of the selling points of the Trinity line. It's supposed to be a very eco-friendly tennis ball. Another key feature of these balls is that it has something called the Engage Core, which allows this ball to remain pressurized four times longer than a standard tennis ball. And lastly, something called the High Viz Pro Woven Felt gives the felt a unique consistency. It makes it have a nice consistent and lively feel through the duration of the life of the ball. So I'm all for this Wilson Trinity line. Tennis balls are very not eco-friendly, but this Trinity line is has a noble goal, which is to reduce the footprint of tennis balls. Um, how does it play is what a lot of people are curious about. And so I'm gonna take this ball on the court, I'm gonna hit with it a few times and really see how long it lasts and is it really, you know, is it really different from standard tennis balls and is it worth the price? Because obviously it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than your standard tennis ball. So let's get on the court and test out the Wilson Trinity Pro. So usually I talk about the pros and cons of a certain product when I'm reviewing it, but with this, I'm sure that everyone's going to have different opinions and standards. So I'm just going to say things that I noticed and you guys can decide for yourself whether that's a pro or a con for you. But I do encourage all of you guys to try out this ball because the goal is noble. It's a eco-friendly ball in a fully recyclable can and I wish more companies would do this and if they could find more cost-effective ways to, to produce these balls, that would be great. But I noticed three things with this Wilson Trinity Pro ball. Firstly is that the ball feels very heavy and I wasn't the only one that said this when I took it out of the can and I gave it to my friends and we were hitting while well, warming up with it. We all noticed that the ball felt very heavy and we were struggling to clear the net, especially on the slices or the defensive shots. We really had to lift up on the ball and we felt that we had to put a lot more effort into those low slices or those defensive shots. Also, whenever I was trying to lift up the ball on a low forehand ground stroke, I struggled to clear the net a lot until I got used to it. Once I got used to it, it was fine, but there is definitely an adjustment period there. Secondly, the ball sounds very different. It actually sounds very flat, which is strange, and it's actually kind of off-putting um, because it feels like you're hitting with a flat ball, but when you watch the ball travel, it doesn't feel flat at all. So this takes some getting used to. It has a very loud, noticeable pop sensation. It sounds very different from a traditional tennis ball. It almost sounds like um, you're hitting on an indoor tennis court, even when you're outside. This could be due to that high-vis pro-woven felt technology, which gives the ball a different property, the felt, um, the consistency, but it definitely sounds different noticeably. And lastly, I did notice that this ball does maintain its bounce longer than a traditional tennis ball, just like it promised with the Engage Core. I hit with it for a few play sessions and I compared the bounce with some other balls, um, not noticeably the cheaper ones to see how much different it was. And there was a noticeable difference in the bounce. And so it does maintain its bounce fairly long. But the final question that I'm sure many of you ask, and it's something that I ask myself is that, is the Wilson Trinity Pro worth the price? And for me, since this can only be bought in cases of 24 at this point, um, I bought it single, but I had to pay a little bit more. So I had to pay about $9 a can plus the shipping. That's very, very expensive. And so to me, it's, it is not worth the price unless you can find it 
at a cheaper price per can or if you're willing to just shell out money for a case of 24 which does make it a little bit cheaper overall but you have to include the shipping cost this trinity pro is a noble goal but unless they can find a way to make this more cost effective i don't think many tennis players are going to uh, opt to use this ball because it's just so expensive especially with the supply chain issues going on with the world and the inflation and the increasing prices of tennis products i feel like everyone's just going to use the pen championship from costco or even the wilson us open ball which is still pretty expensive is going to be cheaper so wilson keep up the work i really want you guys to find something that's going to be more cost effective so that more people will start using this because tennis balls are very bad for the environment and anything that can reduce the waste that tennis balls produce that would be a good thing so wilson trinity pro if you guys can are willing to pay that money try checking it out thank you for watching this review of the wilson trinity pro tennis ball if you guys like this content be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and i'll see you on an open court